Good morning, everyone. Oh, it has been a busy week. Uh, we have been uh, planting milo, uh, planting soybeans, uh, putting up hay, uh, spraying. Uh, we started a construction of a grain bin on our farm. Uh, we had a few new deliveries. Uh, we've been filming a uh, music video, and uh, today we're, we're doing some things as well. Sorry we haven't uh, been vlogging as much, uh, but we've had kind of a lot on our plate. Uh, I've seen a few comments, people asking about uh, my truck. I got this truck from Long MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, and uh, it's a uh, kind of a special edition Long MacArthur Performance. Uh, it's called the Long MacArthur Special Edition. That's what LMSE stands for. Uh, but this is just basically a 2020 um, F-150. It's just kind of got, um, it's the basic, it's the basic uh, body of a F-150, but it's just got a few upgrades like the interior there. And then the the rims on the tires, and uh, oh, it's got a it's got a custom grill. Uh, it's got I think a two inch lift on it. That's what the grill looks like. Go K State. So uh, I really like this truck, and I uh, got a really good deal on it there at Long MacArthur. So I know people were confused as to what kind of truck it is because it doesn't look like your typical F one fifty. So that's what kind of truck it is. It's a beautiful summer morning. The the birds are chirping and the wheat ripening our wheat seems to be looking better and better by the day uh as you remember probably remember we got some really bad freezes and so yeah you know probably half the plants died but the plants that are still here uh they put on some pretty big heads we're hoping that that'll really help the yield potential but i mean this could have been 60 bushel wheat it's probably going to be 40 to 50 i guess Pretty tough to tell. So I think Nathan uh, planted last night uh, pretty late. Um, we've gotten about 300 acres of milo planted. Uh, one of the, the first field of milo we planted was 240 acres. So that took a while. Uh, this one's only 50 here. It's just part of Kendall's field uh, that we rotated out of wheat. And so this is going to milo. So I'm going to go ahead and get the Kubota started up here. Uh, get to planting. You guys can kind of follow me throughout the day. Might have some of Nathan and Kendall's footage in here too from some of the things we've been doing this week. Yeah, it's it's been busy, but uh, we're getting a lot done too. Woo! It's like 100 degrees in this camp right now. When it's eight in the morning and it's already in the 90s, it's not fun. Thankfully, the air conditioning uh, is gonna kick on real soon. Here comes Nathan to spray this field. I got to uh, fill up with fertilizer here, and then I'll be getting started. Is he gonna come talk to me? Oh, wow, look at that. Look how strong he is. See, oh, now he realizes he's on camera. I know. I'm, I was a little slow starting this morning. So what's going on? Did you, come, did you come to give me a pep talk? Or? No, I just came to change your seed rate. Oh, change my seed I rate. I can give you pep talk. Okay. Well, I mean, changing my changing my seed rate is kind of a pep talk. Yeah. It's like, like I'm putting the exact right amount of seed. <laughs> on this upland. We were on some more bottom ground. That was I, our 240 acre field. I changed it two notches last night, but I decided to go one more notch. Nice. So. All right, filling fertilizer. You can see that level going up. We've got it in both of these tanks. That's how we've been filling up the planter here. Uh, we put on fertilizer with Milo, starter fertilizer. Nathan is spraying.
So he's laying down the, the pre that'll keep the weeds from growing as this Milo sprouts. All right, so I uh, finished the last field I was on there and moved on to this next one. Nathan brought me some more seed and we've got a new uh, seed runner here. Check it out. Uh, this came from Kubota. Uh, it's a uh, Kubota Sidekick. It's the RTV XG850 model. Uh, UTV, side by side. So we're pretty excited to have this to do things like carry seed to our planter and uh, take care of our cattle out in the pasture and, and lots of other things, I'm sure. Uh, we've always just used four-wheelers on our farm, so uh, we're pretty excited to, to have some new... See, Nathan, Nathan's pretty excited about it. So how, how was the drive over here? Did it go fast? Or did, did fast and safe. You drove slow just, and safe. Yeah. Just, just the right speed. amount of speed. You're looking a little sweaty there. Yeah, like, you know, It's hot. It's hot. No, I'm sweating too. I'm just pointing out the obvious that it's 95 degrees. It's Milo plant weather. It might be up to 100. I haven't checked for a while. Yeah, I say it's it's supposed to get up to 99 today, I think. So. Yeah. Well, we better refill seed. See if I can carry these seed bags with one with one hand. Oh. There's our Milo. All right, so this is Milo, or grain sorghum, as it's called. Work out. Side. Side. <laughs> side kick. Oh yeah, work out, side kick. See, I always thought I was your side kick, but now I've been replaced. Yeah. No, I'm just the cameraman. That's always just been true. Have we had this can in the planter since we got this planter uh, 10 I years ago? Changed. You I think it's changed? It's All right. Because it seems like we've had this can forever, but maybe I'm wrong. Can. This one. The old can, you used to kind of pinch a little bit and make it narrower to get, get down yeah. lower. All right, well, thanks for bringing me seed. Buckle up for safety. Yeah. Nice. All right, that little three-corner patch is planted. That was the uh, field that we uh, chopped. Um, if you watched our uh, picking rye out of the field, um, we skipped this three this three-corner patch here because it was so full of rye and cheat from the freeze and stuff. And so we chopped it. Um, just like we chopped our uncle's wheat and we put it in his silage pit, he just kind of bought it from us. And so it only took about 20 minutes to plant, about five acres, but uh, this will get a head start. This Milo crop will get a head start um, and we're going to plant Milo after all this wheat as a double crop. So instead of waiting to plant this with the rest of the field, uh, we went ahead and planted it now. It gives it another couple weeks to grow. And uh, we can also kind of compare to see how the later Milo did versus the earlier, earlier Milo. Most of the time here in Kansas, we see our later soybeans and our later Milo do better than anything that was planted earlier. So last year, all the rain forced us to plant into July. We had some of the best yields in the fall we'd ever had. So that's just some, some of the, something we learn in Kansas all the time is that uh, it's not like the I states. Um, with soybeans, it's, it's not really the earlier that you plant, the better, unless you have irrigation. On um, these dryland hill fields, uh, it's better to plant in mid-June. Shout out to this uh, M8 for being able to go 30 mile an hour on the road. I'm only going 20 right now just because I'm filming, but uh, it makes it really nice when you're transporting in between fields to be able to go faster. Our last planter or tractor, the uh, 7410, uh, only went about 18 or maybe it went 20 on the road, but uh, it's nice to be able to go faster. 
So up on the hill, you can see Nathan spraying there, and then there is the, uh, the cat tractor and the Great Plains Air Cedar. Uh, I'm going to be across the road here planting Milo, but uh, that's kind of what we've been doing is spraying, drilling, and planting. As you can tell, it has been so hot this week. Um, I think it was 96 on Monday, 90 like 98 on Tuesday, 99 Wednesday, 99 Thursday, 98 today. And it's been humid, the mosquitoes are out. Ugh. I miss spring already. But uh, it's nice to have air conditioning in our tractors. Um, it's nice to, you know, get breaks from the heat. Um, but uh, the people who are putting up the grain bin and the people who are uh, um, working outside this week, you know, shout out to you guys because it is hot. Planters plugged up a few times. I've had to get out and mess with stuff, and, and uh, you get it's just, it's just not fun. So yeah, to recap, uh, last week we started on soybeans with both the planter and the air seeder. You probably saw that in the last video. This week, uh, Monday through Thursday, or today's Friday, I guess, Monday through Friday, um, I started out in the air seeder over there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was in there for like 12 hours a day. Uh, to be honest, I was pretty sick of it. I uh, just needed to change the scenery uh, by yesterday. We also swapped hay on Monday and uh, we bailed that hay last night around midnight. Uh, I think Kendall uh, took some footage of that, should be in the next video. And uh, I switched to the planter yesterday and then planted yesterday and today. But Nathan, Kendall and dad have been planting all week. We planted a 240 acre field of Milo, which was took forever, it took like three days. Um, and then today we've planted I think 50 acres plus five 55 acres still got a few hours left in the day gonna try to finish this field here it's another 60 acres I think so some of our smaller fields but uh, gonna try to get things done it's been a uh, it's been a long week I think I've worked uh, almost 60 hours now by Friday and still have tomorrow uh, and so uh, there's been some frustrating points of this week uh, I didn't didn't film as much as I'd like. We were trying to film a music video. Um, it's, it's definitely a lot to take on. Um, doing all this farm work, trying to make videos. Uh, you can get frustrated, you can get really tired. I haven't gotten a whole lot of sleep. Uh, but it's Friday, tomorrow's Saturday. We're gonna rest on Sunday. And uh, we're almost done planting. We're about three fourths done with soybeans with the air seeder. We're about you're probably getting close to three-fourths done with of Milo with this as well so light at the end of the tunnel I'm looking forward to catching up on a little sleep before wheat harvest I would say we're 10 to 14 days away from wheat harvest so as soon as we get finished planting we're gonna rest up and then we're gonna go super hard again uh, on the week of wheat harvest so we'll see some 70 80 maybe 90 hour work weeks coming up here in June especially if it doesn't rain so wish us luck hope you've enjoyed this video uh, remember to click like and subscribe if you, if you enjoy what you're seeing. Uh, we really appreciate all your subscriptions and all your comments below. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Have a great weekend.